doesn't know a thing, I promise. What's this nonsense about needing a password to see Lord Cardigan today? Relax. I've got it in my pocket. Look sharp, men. Allow no one past unless I authorize them. Cardigan has gone too far this time. I've a mind to contact Scotland Yard myself. Come now, gentlemen. I thought us united in opposition against this perfidious law. Nevertheless, I think favorably of the bill, because though it does in reality <laughs> Nevertheless, I think favorably of the bill, because though it does in reality only one day, and shows an adequate sense of the emergency. It shows a sense that in order to put down this great evil, it is necessary to go out of the common path. Scandalous. Pardon me, gentlemen. Sergeant Freddie Aberline of Scotland Yard. Where might this scandalous activity be taking place? Odd fellow. Oh, yes, yes. It's uh, just this way. Follow me, Sergeant, but discreetly if you would. One doesn't like to be seen airing the fellow member of Parliament's dirty linen. What? <laughs> I'll be very discreet.
Usually I would be in disguise, but my clothes all fell into the Thames. That's a body. Becoming famous by expending effort on a small detail. Where he come from? Visitors! Support password. I beg your pardon. No password, no passage. You know who I am. I'm a member of Parliament, you cretin. 
Where would we have been? No password, no passage, sir. The first sign of difficulty. Blind against the wall and shot. And deservedly so. Christ, again. I am sorry, my lord. The wind blows in Disraeli's direction. Let's get him out of here! I'll kill you for that! should fall not on the gloried fields of Crimea, but to an assassin's blade in the very halls of power. Are you finished yet? Take your bow, knave, for you have managed what no Russian battery, what no Indian tiger could achieve. Claim your trophy, and may you choke on it. Yes, but do tell me more about Balaclava. Farewell. Farewell, dear Britannia! Your dawn shall be dimmer that the Earl of Cardigan sees it not. God save the Queen and the Eleventh Hussars! What a prick. Apart from the death squad on our tail, apart from that. Backup's on the way. Why are you pushing yourself so hard? It's not your job to fight Templars. I had this colleague. He was our boss's son. I didn't much care for him at the start. Everyone treated him like he was so bloody special. To me, he just wasn't invested in, in, in anything that didn't affect him personally. But I was wrong about him. He became my friend put himself through hell, and he saved us all in the end. So I reckon 
Well, I can't apologize to him, but I can, I don't know, I can try and live up to his example. You are a good assassin. Holy jeez! Hello. It has been too long. Galena! I mean, I have not seen you since we blew up that lab in Paris. Uh, there were many explosions, and you screamed like a baby. Bishop tells me Old Soberg is here. I will kill him for you. Super. Great news. Now, if you wouldn't mind keeping watch, I am going to lie down and die now. Rest. We have a big fight coming. Sean and Rebecca are safe for now, but we're still relying on you to find us that shroud. A letter? For me? A dinner invitation. And with whom are you dining this evening? Maxwell Roth. The leader of the Blighters? You're not going. Of course not. 